Let's go. What's the next plan, Taris? Woo. Hello. My new master at last. I am C2N2, steward of this vessel. It is my extreme good fortune to serve you. <laughs> Get to work. That's a vibromop droid. I want this ship to sparkle. Of course, master. Custodial duties are only one of many vital functions I possess. C2 series droids represent the latest advances in everything from starship technical maintenance to nutritional advice tailored for your specific organic needs. Welcome aboard this Corellian Defender class like Corvette. It was custom built to offer a Jedi both first rate combat performance and meditation amenities. Nice. Along with the usual accommodations, yeah, yeah. Your, your bridge yeah. the priority alerts from the Republic mm -hmm. Network of long range communications. Mm -hmm. are and finally, the ship's intercom will. Do you have any questions? Prepare for takeoff. Prep the ship for flight. We're leaving shortly. The ship is fueled and ready, Master. There are just a few final points we should review first. As you can see, I am not equipped for physical danger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am happy to assist you with any non hazardous task, of course. I don't need you. Uh, what do you consider a non hazardous task? I am programmed to modify other technology. Okay, okay. Whenever you are ready. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, this is for space missions. No, not yet. Okay. Come in, Coruscant Control. Requesting permission to launch. Permission granted, Master Jedi. Coordinates to Ord Mantell have been uploaded to your Navi computer. Good hunting. Oh, Ord Mantell? Shit. Hello, T7. Is there something you need to tell me? No. Oh. A hundred years. How old are you? Cool. <laughs> no. <laughs> you remember them all? So, just how many partners have you had? Twelve. Whoa. Oh. Healed. Oh, Darth Magus. How did you get away? Why didn't the Sith destroy you when they killed Master Zalo? Okay. Darth Magus, bad man. Well, I have some bad news for you. <laughs> we have other priorities. Oh, no, I can stop him. If you're looking for a hero, look no further. Hell yeah, hero. Mm -hmm. Darth Malgus is a persistent little fucker. <laughs> Okay, let's go to. Oh, okay, Kira, let's talk to. So, ground rules? Master Kuix let me do whatever, as long as I wasn't in her way. I'm not her. When I need you, do exactly as I say. The rest of the time, be invisible. Oof. Too bad I lost the stealth field generator. Question two What's my job on the ship? Hate standing around, makes me antsy. Big something. It's a big ship, there's plenty of work. Do what comes naturally. Reprogram the computer to call me master? Done. We'd better get moving. Let's go save the galaxy. All right.
General, I've arrived at Ord Mantell. Perfect timing. I've just finished coordinating things with my man on the ground there. SIS agent Atau followed the enemy transmissions to a specific location planet side. He'll give you the full details. Your T-7 unit can interface with Darth Angrel's hyperspace data transceiver and download his communications. Take the droid with you. <laughs> Guess I'll be playing Dejarg against myself while you have all the fun. Me <laughs> too. We have our orders. I'm ready to go, General. Take a shuttle to the surface and meet Agent Atau. Good hunting. Barsuthra out. I've visited my share of seedy ports, but this one's the seediest. Just as well I'm staying behind. I'll make sure nobody steals our landing thrusters. Don't pout. Somehow, you will get through this. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. Have fun down there. Thank you, Luna. Yeah, guys, if you want to maybe catch up on other videos or streams and stuff, I edit most of them, so they're much uh, easier to watch. So yeah, give my channel a subscribe if you want. Agent Otal, Republic SIS. Welcome to Ord Mantel. Hope you enjoy War Zone's <laughs> Master Jedi. This planet's full of them. Sounds like fun. Open war will be a refreshing change of pace. Personally, I prefer life in the shadows. It lasts longer. General Var Suthra had me send a probe droid to the hyperspace data transceiver's location. I learned two things. First, it's on an island. Second, they don't like visitors there. My probe droid wound up disintegrated. Make sure that doesn't happen to you, huh? McFlurry. I mean... That's definitely not a fairy. McFlurry, we can talk about it. It won't. No one can stand up against me. Must be nice. Is uh, your little droid blaster-proof too? <coughs> when you find the hyperspace data transceiver, plug in your T7 unit and download everything you can from its logs. With any luck, We'll learn what Darth Angle's been up to. Be seeing you. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true, Tamino. I'm not a furry. Stop it. <laughs> we get it, get you're not a furry. Definitely never would be a furry or never would be a furry. God damn it, Luna. Just because I like Blade, I've been marked a fairy. That's not fair. Don't tell kid I said this, but I concur. Stop it! <laughs> Don't look at me. Damn it. <laughs> Where is stealth when you need it? What made you guys get into Sotor? Personally, I had started playing before I even was really into Star Wars, believe it or not. My friend Mike uh, made me uh, try out the game and I played um, a Bounty Hunter. And at the time I wasn't super like into it because I, I didn't know the universe well at that point. But then... The Mandalorian came out and I started like really fast getting into um, Star Wars and I inhaled all of the content and the rest is history. <laughs> hmm? Red handed and exposed. Stop it! What did you send? What did you send, Luna? Played the old Cotter games and I'm a huge Star Wars fan. I want to play more of it. Understandable. Have you been keeping up with the new shows as well? I'm just waiting to watch uh, Andor with my friend. We watch all the Star Wars stuff together. 
Warframe stream highlight. Oh! <laughs> Thank you for telling me, Tomino. It was one of the first videos where I tried to make a compilation. It's not very good, but it also does not confirm that I'm a fairy. I'm not a fairy. <laughs> what did I want to say? And yeah, you know the lucky thing about um, picking the bounty hunter as my very first character when I was playing with my friend is that when I started watching The Mandalorian and I suddenly, you know, got into Star Wars, I was... I had accidentally picked the perfect origin story as the bounty hunter because then you become a Mandalorian. Oops, sorry spoiler if you don't know. But uh, yeah, so it was like perfect and I was suddenly the one going, hey, if you want to continue like playing together through the stories and stuff, I'm up for that now. So yeah. And now I play more than him. <laughs> Name Markovic, rank lieutenant. That's all you're getting from me, Jedi scum. Don't make me kill you. If you won't be useful, why should I keep you alive? Get spaced. I'm <laughs> proud to die for Get the Empire. Get spaced. Hey, what's that droid doing? Get away from there. He's spin. Spin right on your hardware. It's pretty. The video is very concerning evidence for. No, no, not you too, Tommy. No, no. Tarnas's talk on Coruscant about creating non-lethal weapons was a lie. Just because I like the bunny ears in Warframe doesn't mean anything. They were cute. Everybody's bullying me. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, good reasons. One less Imperial to worry about. Arse and fear. Cool. Didn't you teach T7 to not stick his data spike into strangers' consoles? Guess his previous masters didn't bother. All right, three turn. Okay, I did it. Back already? That was quick. I'm that good. <laughs> it was surprisingly simple, really. Guess it helped being a Jedi instead of a probe droid. At least the Empire has one less hidey hole. I'll put together a team, see if we can secure that island for our side. You should report to General Varsuthra. Be seeing you. Okay. Oh no, what's this? So your master was here all along. Well played, Padawan. Your lies convinced even Darth Angrel. Drop your weapon, Sith. Put down that lightsaber and step away from my Padawan. Mm -hmm. Spare me your pathetic demands. I hold the power here, not you. Imperial intelligence noticed this girl wandering the station and alerted my Why did master. you leave the ship, dude? Darth Angrel came from 20 parsecs away for a personal interrogation. Unfortunately, we were led to believe you weren't here. Told them you were on Corellia. <laughs> Suckers. No matter. We have you now. Surrender. Unless you want your Padawan to die. He's lying. He can't kill me. Angrel's orders. <clears throat> You know, for a moment I thought he meant I'm going to kill you, as in Kira. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. No one will walk away from this. You do realize you're vastly outnumbered, not to mention outmatched. I'll never understand what drives you Jedi to throw away your lives. You risk certain deaths to free this girl. Why? Some misguided sense of duty. Skip the questions. I'm not here to discuss philosophy. Unfortunate. It would have bought you a few extra moments of life. 
When I present Darth Angrel with your head, he'll be most appreciative. Oh, honey, you got a big storm coming. You dead. Don't take this the wrong way, but I've never been happier to see anyone my whole life. Yeah, yeah. Blurred. You. <laughs> you disappointed me. The next time you fail me, Padawan, don't expect a rescue. Oh, good. I was afraid you might get all mushy on me. What the hell? Angwell wanted to know everything about you. Hello? Threatened to kill me if I didn't answer all his questions. What? Uh, what's going on here? You see the arms? Why didn't he? You look pretty good for someone tortured by a Sith. We never got to the actual torture part. He was sending me to Dromund Kaas for that. Angrel left with an Imperial Admiral to refit a battlecruiser. Sounds like they have some new weapon. Desolator? We should warn the General about this right away. Okay, but first, what the hell is happening with your arms? <laughs> Yeah, what the... Uh, is that the, her skincare routine? You know how they sometimes wear gloves after they put some uh, hand cream on? Oh, Tamino, have you ever seen the visual bug where the characters are wearing a bikini the male characters looks like Tarnus was combining all your weapon projects to create something codenamed Desolator we believe Angrel's arming his battlecruiser with it it's no coincidence I've lost contact with Agent Galen the enemy is raiding our weapon research facilities to build that device Born the Jedi Masters. What about Master Orgus and Kiwix? Have they checked in? They went on calm silence after leaving Coruscant. They're due to check in soon. We can't let Darth Angrel complete this desolator weapon, whatever it is. I need your help stopping No, thank you, Tamino. Securing Nar Shaddaa is vital, but there's another target just as important on Terrace. You have another super weapon on Terrace you didn't tell us about? I'd rather not say more until you're there. So many weapons. But yeah, I'm always so happy when I catch bugs like that on stream, because then I have proof. <laughs> Don't play games with me. What else are you hiding, General? I'm not the one doing the hiding. You'll understand later. Too many security breaches here. I won't risk the enemy finding out about this. When you reach Terrace or Nar Shada, contact me. And good luck. I guess, uh... It's Terrace's first, right? Level-wise? Okay, we're gonna change our outfit when we go to Narsada to be more stylish. General, I'm on Terrace. You seemed worried about this place after Ord Mantell. What's the big mystery you wouldn't reveal? I apologize for the secrecy, but this involves someone the Empire would love to get its hands on. Angral's son, Tarnus, was the lead scientist on our advanced warfare projects. But these technologies were all invented by Dr. Nassan Godera. Dr. Godera is a genius. Calculates targeting algorithms in his head for fun. You sent me here for a reason. Since I'm on Terrace, I assume he must be too. Correct. But the situation is complicated. Dr. Godera hates the Empire. So much so he quit in protest when the Republic signed the Treaty of Coruscant. Disappeared completely. We recently discovered he's hiding on Terrace. But the swamps, predators, and city ruins are keeping us from finding him. Why is he hiding? What did he hope to accomplish by disappearing? I look forward to asking him that myself. The Republic is recolonizing Terrace. Recently we found evidence that our missing doctor has been here for years. Reconnaissance discovered one of Godera's outposts in the swamp. It's entirely automated. Nothing but droids inside. And they're not cooperating. Make them. If you let stubborn droids stand in your way, there's no hope for you. <laughs> 
Codera took no chances. The droids' memory cores are sealed and encrypted. I've had people scouring Taris for other outposts. The survivors returned empty-handed. After what you learned on Ord Mantell, we need that man's expertise. You are our best shot at finding Dr. Godera. I'll find him. I'll bring him back alive. Whatever it takes. I left a small team monitoring the outpost. They'll aid your search. Transmitting outpost coordinates. Good luck. Our Suthra, out. Okay. I don't like Taris. I find it boring on Republic side and okay on the Imperial side. Like the visually it looks better on the Imperial side, I think. Oh, and now we can get the... Uh, where do we get the ability? You can get it here. Lightsaber yep. is just as much science as our... Ooh, and I can get a fancy mount. Let's do it. Yay! Yes, and also I have a little pet uh, of the same type. Let me show you. Here. Where is it? Hello? There it is. Yeah. Isn't it cute? Let's put it here so I always forget to take it out. Yes, I got it actually when I was streaming 7.1 just as it came out and Jackie, I think it was Jackie, she sent me a code which I thought was very sweet. And funnily enough, I also won this mount on a giveaway. <laughs> So both of these things are from gifts. Yeah. I, I was really surprised because, like I mentioned, I don't really have a lot of viewers usually. So to the fact that she went around to, you know, smaller channels and gave codes, I thought was very nice. Nope. Hello. Do you have uh, any opinions about um, 7.0 and 7.1 personally, or are you indifferent? I love most of the changes, to be honest, give lots of variety, but I also see why people were disappointed. Yeah. I was not a huge fan of 7.0 because of the, the changes in the gearing system they in my opinion it was complicated for no reason and uh, in 7.1 i found that uh, they improved a lot of the systems and at least they gave us some variety in how we can uh, gear up so that was nice but yeah i will always crave more story that's how i started on uh, youtube actually i just because i was seeing I was like working out the gearing system when uh, 7.0 came out. It was 7, right? And uh, was just keep, I kept seeing questions and I kept, you know, responding. And then I just I decided and I made like a seven-minute video. I had no editing programs, no nothing. I knew nothing, and I just posted me talking for seven minutes, and that's how I started. <laughs> That's enough bloodshed. I agree, Tamino. Let's be professional about this. I am Watcher One with Imperial Intelligence. Those men you fought served me. You murdered my people. Your agents slaughtered Republic citizens. That's an act of war. On the contrary, it was self-preservation. Despite what General Varsuthra believes, I have known about this outpost for some time. Your imminent arrival forced me to take action. My mission is to protect the Empire from Dr. Gadara's weapons. I'm afraid I can't let you have him. This isn't about protection. Don't insult my intelligence. The Empire only wants to destroy the Republic. Believe what you will. 
Imperial intelligence prides itself on accurate threat assessment. I've known you were coming, analyzed your strengths and weaknesses in preparation. You allowed the fallen Jedi, Bengal Moor, to flee Tython. Your oh. loyalty to the Jedi Order is oh. questionable. Uh oh. What's he talking about? What? Is that true? No. He's lying. I never did anything like that. Your desire to conceal your actions is also well oh, documented. Oh, shit. As fortune would have it, Dr. Gadara will be in my custody shortly. You've already failed. Won't get away with this. Even if I don't get Dr. Gadara, I'll still get you. That's a promise. Watchers aren't easily caught. I see my reinforcements are finally in position. Uh-oh. Terminate him. Shit, I got gear out and the uh, nose nose. Uh -oh. Hey. Blasted imps. Death is too good for them. Thank you for liberating this facility. Good riddance to imp scum. I remember I hated Watcher once so much, but ultimately spared him and let him live in the Republic. I see. You're my kind of droid. I wish my T7 had a personality like you. <laughs> T7 units lack the subroutines to properly appreciate imp destruction. My designation is REM0. Dr. Gadara assigned me to this facility. Primary function, enemy surveillance. The facility was compromised when Republic cowards arrived on Terrace, and again by these imp scum. Republic cowards? Why do you call the Republic cowards? These people died defending you. Republic cowards surrendered to the Empire many years ago. These deaths do not alter that fact. My programming forbids cooperation with non gadera life forms, except under extreme circumstances. That criteria is now met. Watcher <laughs> One reprogrammed this facility's tracking relays. He traced Dr. Gadera's encrypted bioscan to its present location. Blessed imps. Hmm. How did he pull that off? How could Watcher One do all that when we couldn't? Imperial intelligence is well funded and highly motivated. Filthy imps. Filthy imps. Locating my maker requires repairing the central computer and resetting outdoor tracking relays. I am only equipped for computer repairs. I will provide you with the tracking relays coordinates, but be advised, the outdoors are dangerous. Not for me. Anything in my way dies. Get to work fixing that central computer. Jedi were never included in Dr. Gadara's Republic coward designation. Now I comprehend why. Commencing computer repairs. Contact me when all tracking relays are reset. Then we can triangulate Dr. Gadara's location. If you encounter any imp scum, please annihilate them. How you handle Republic cowards is your discretion. Good luck, Jedi. If you insist, I guess I can annihilate him. Wasn't in my plans, honestly. <laughs> Don't look at me. Damn it! No! Luna doing her job sending <laughs> emojis. the Endar Spire. The Sith shot it down before they leveled Terrace. Oh yeah? I have a call. I finished resetting all the tracking relays. Is that central computer online? Affirmative. Triangulating Dr. Gadara's coordinates now. This facility has outlived its usefulness, and my programming provides no secondary mission. I am uncertain how to proceed. Serving Republic cowards is unacceptable, but I am not armed to combat in the scum. Recommendation? Deactivate? Um. Stay put. Don't go anywhere until I find Dr. Gadara. A prudent course of action. Perhaps I can monitor imp scum from here. Triangulation complete. Transmitting the coordinates to you now. Hurry, Jedi. My maker is too good for those imp scum. No. Okay. Chun ki salamana tupa. Chi ho lokto chobot e kafsto andale. Not here, apparently. 
How did you manage to escape the Imperials? Con kipona hukta tabatata. Siguro ang deha yalis ka chanaga. Iting ka chasa hopa ma. Hold this position. If Imperial reinforcements arrive, defend this corridor with your lives. Got me? Got me. Santa Bruja. Ito to kapola kupi de opera chiruni pibuka. We'll do our best. The guy is dead. <laughs> we'll do our best. Who? Aren't we being bamboozled right now? I think we're being bamboozled. Seal said you can't call his bluff, right? <laughs> uh -huh. I'm basically a sneak master. Stand down, Jedi. I'm afraid we both lose this contest. Dr. Gudera killed himself rather than be captured. It's a tragic loss. You're lying. Your goal was to kill him. He was far more valuable to us alive. We are prepared to leave Taris without further violence. Full cessation of hostilities. No. Do you accept? No. I can't bring Dr. Gudera back to life, but I will kill you. Unlike the men at the outpost, we're trained to fight Jedi. Don't underestimate us. Wait, Jedi. These filthy imps are lying to you. My maker is not dead. I conducted a second triangulation on my maker's bioscan, just to be sure. Which one was Before it? We destroyed Let me know. irritating machine. Like the very first one, or...? Now you both have to die. Uh, excuse me. Oh. Remu. Critical damage. Circuit failing. Built the I'm sending my maker's new coordinates to you now. Save him. Do not let my functions end in vain. Uh, goodbye. You served well. I'll take it from here. Filthy imps. Filthy imps. Them all. Oh, wama wanka mi tuski o wana tablota wi jawa. Not my finest performance, but serviceable. Do not fear. Dr. Gadera is unharmed. I painlessly rendered him unconscious and gently carried him to safety. Your men are dead. I can't say the same for your assassins. Their loss is regrettable, but they understood what's at stake. We could continue this chase forever, but what a waste of resources. I suggest a compromise. Give me time to administer truth serum to Dr. Gadera. Once he reveals his secrets, he's yours. We'll both have what we want. What's in for me? I don't see what I'm getting out of this. I will purchase time for interrogating Dr. Gadara by offering you something of great personal interest. Personal? Pirates have unearthed powerful artifacts once belonging to the Jedi Covenant. I believe you will find these relics highly useful. I don't care about relics. <laughs> My duty is to stop you. No, oh, wait, let's ask. Jedi Covenant? I've never heard of this covenant. A secret cabal disbanded centuries ago, murdered their own Padawans, hoping to prevent the Sith's return. Wow. They were powerful zealots. A Sith has arranged to acquire these artifacts. Can you risk allowing your enemies the power they contain? He's bluffing. This is a trick. Your master recognizes the truth. This opportunity won't come again. The Sith is on his way to the pirate camp even now. You know what you must do. I won't let you distract me. I'm coming for the doctor. If anything happens to him, you'll pay. Hmm. I shall have to revise your profile. You're more unpredictable than we thought. Yeah. Come then, Jedi. I assure you, I will be prepared. Keep them guessing. <laughs> right. Are we already near the end of Taris? I think we are. Lord Engrel, I've had no time to conduct my interrogation. Preparing for the Jedi took priority. You've made far too many decisions without my consultation, Watcher. Engrel. Perhaps I should be grateful. 
You spared me the effort of hunting you down. The hatred is mutual. Keep throwing your forces at me, Angrel. I enjoy taking them apart. Mm -hmm. You underestimate the strength of my wrath. You cannot win. Watcher, bring me this filth alive. I will kill him myself. Respectfully, my lord. I think it's wiser to escape with the doctor while I still can. No! Do as I command! As you wish, Lord Angrel. You're heavily outnumbered, Jedi. These are my very best agents. I would prefer that you surrender. You're just Angrel's tool. Despite your rank, you're still just a slave to the Sith. Being a good servant does not make one a slave. I'd think a Jedi would understand that. This is not the ending I would have chosen. Well, you're not a playable character, are you? You're pretty tough. I respect that. Again, Darth Angrel underestimates you. Twenty years, I've avoided becoming a casualty of Sith madness. But an order is an order. Cool. If you had any self-respect, you would have refused to serve Angrel. I've never broken the chain of command. That is my self-respect. Regardless, you are the victor here. How do you wish to proceed? <clears throat> You'll get no mercy from me. I asked for none. Do as you must. Dr. Gadara, are you all right? I'm a Jedi Knight sent by General Varsuthra to rescue you. Varsuthra? That old man never gives up, does he? All I remember was being knocked unconscious in my lab. At least the Imperials couldn't question me. I suppose you plan to take me back to Coruscant? I left for good reason, you know. Why? I'd like to hear it. The Republic doomed itself when we signed that blasted treaty. The Sith Empire only sought a strategic pause in the fighting. Time to gather strength for a final crushing blow. Mm -hmm. The Senate ignored my projections. I refuse to serve such monumental ignorance. I understand. The Republic leaders are fools. We never should have backed down from the Sith. Peace with the Empire is impossible. The evidence surrounds us. If it hasn't started already, all-out war is imminent. I'm ready to face what's coming. Perhaps it is time I returned. Finish the war and wipe out the Empire for good. Welcome to Terrace. I'm Governor Suresh. On behalf of the Galactic oh, Republic, I want to thank you for joining us in this historic project. For your safety, please do not travel beyond the military secured safe zone outside the sunlight. You're fine. This world and our work here will shine as a beacon of hope to all of the Republic. Okay. But first, I told you, agent, we have many this Jedi never overcome. fails. Together, we stand taller than any obstacle. Terrace, stop. Let's get to work. We Together. discovered the outpost was destroyed and assumed the worst. Can you tell us what happened? We have unconfirmed reports the Imperial Spymaster Watcher 1 is on Terrace. The Spymaster was working for Darth Angrel. I dealt with Watcher 1, but the Empire knows too much about us. The Empire's spy network will suffer without Watcher 1's guidance. That buys us time. Dr. Godera, you're looking well, all things considered. Ready to come home? Depends. Are you ready to do what's right? I always was, and our time has finally come. Agent, bring Dr. Godera to Coruscant immediately. We'll be needing his skills. Contact me from your ship. Parasuthra out. Then this is goodbye. You saved my life. I owe you. Yes. <laughs> Advanced technology is always useful. I hear you're the man to see about that. When I'm settled in on Coruscant, I'll send you a proper token of thanks. Goodbye for now. I'm sure we'll see each other again.
back, Master. Your vessel is in flawless condition naturally. General, Dr. Godera is on his way to you. I can only imagine what the Empire would have done with him if you hadn't been there. Your work here may be done, but this isn't over. Nice. What's up, D7? Oh. Yeah. Evil doesn't stand a chance with the two of us around. Who's Shafu? I don't imagine he just decided to retire because you asked nicely. He tricked you. Don't be naive. As soon as Master Zalo was gone, Shafu went back to his slaving ways. Oh, actually, <clears throat> I'm sure he's fine. Maybe he betrayed you. Do you think Shafu had anything to do with Master Zala's death? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Let's go to Narsadan. 